Hello everyone, my name is Henry Willoughby and today I'll be presenting on social justice, a primer in video format. What is social justice philosophy? Firstly, a little bit about myself. Um, I graduated with a law degree and an arts degree with a major in anthropology and graduated with an honours degree in anthropology. I am a social philosopher and author of books on social justice issues which I extend to the need to show compassion to animals as they too are sentient beings and we, homo sapiens, are animals too, just with a huge expediting of technological innovations. For the past 10 years or so, I have been interested in social justice. In this video, I will explain the importance of social justice and of ongoing social justice consciousness raising through activism and applied and engaged social justice scholarship. Firstly, let us break down social justice into its more basic, basic component. Social justice is an ongoing project of facilitating ever greater equal opportunity for all human social agents. And yes, animals are social agents too as well as facilitating equality as an outcome and not just a process. It is a never ending project. The better we facilitate social justice, the more socially sophisticated we become. But our social justice needs to be buttressed, substantiated and supported by a pragmatic moral ideology. This uh, morality I call the neo-utilitarian imperative. This imperative is to continually maximize the net positive aspects of sentience in the world, e.g. happiness, well-being, ecstasy, positive meaning, etc. While simultaneously continually mitigating the net negative aspects of sentience in the world, e.g. suffering, loss, pain, etc. The only way to achieve this is for ever greater conceptions and enactments of inalienable and indefeasible individual and collective rights for all sentient beings. Rights that once enacted and socially enshrined cannot be abrogated or taken away. Instigating social justice measures and reform has enormous positive externalities, meaning actions which have far reaching benefits outside of the reductionist, mutually beneficial exchanges made between two or more individuals or parties to a contract, for example. Does this for all of us, allowing the individuals who make up the social fabric to better self-actualize, contributing much more immensely to culture and societal problem solving? It means we are less environmentally wasteful and economically have far more efficient outcomes it will also drastically improve human relationships and the way we relate to one another. Let me explain in regards to the socio-political mandate of inalienable land and housing rights for the world's people. This is the need for universal and global inalienable individual rights to freehold ownership of land and housing to be allocated by lottery for those without existing freehold ownership. It would eradicate the gross inefficiency of having to relocate and change residences, increasing socio-political efficiency. It would greatly reduce conflict between peoples as each individual would have their own private and exclusive sanctuary to retreat to and enjoy on their own terms. Everyone would thus become master of their own household. Think of how much this would assist women in breaking free of patriarchal gender norms from being a financially and economically dependent homemaker for male breadwinners, for instance. Surely they would like to be masters of their own, of their own households, independent from men. Imagine the benefits this would have on the entire culture, such as obliterating homelessness, and precarious, precarious housing. I am personally lucky enough to live in community housing and have a unit to myself. So whilst I would prefer to own my own home, I am incredibly privileged to have affordable housing as many do not. 
This allows me to be more productive and I enjoy making it an exclusive space of my own. The last point of this video primer on social justice and social justice philosophy is that through increased efficiency and social and cultural contributions from allowing better self-actualization and self-determination, this improves the survival fitness and well-being of the entire web of sentient life on planet Earth. Improving social justice measures and outcomes results in less crime, less exploitation, and feeds into a better ecological intelligence. For we're currently competing against each other in a way that narrowly economically rewards and actively incentivizes the eco side in our planet we are currently embroiled in. That's it for now. Please check out my blog, leave a productive and engaged comment if you wish, and feel free to check out my social justice philosophy books for more in-depth and critical analysis. Cheers. Take care of yourselves and be kind to one another. Bye for now. Henry Willoughby signing off.